Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my empties from the month of August. So I have a lot of body care. I actually have a few wax items and skincare and I think that's about it, some hair care as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting off, we have the body care items. So I did finish up a full size in coconut cream pie, the body cream. I loved this scent, it's amazing. The scent notes are toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. Mm, it smells so good. This was really, really amazing. I will definitely be keeping an eye out for it if they have some at like maybe the winter SAS, but I really hope they bring this out again because honestly, I don't like coconut scents, but this is like bakery enough to where it was so yummy. And I did pick up the mini fine fragrance mist, so I'll save that until next summer to be able to use it then, but this was so good. Absolutely amazing. Totally recommend. If you haven't used yours and you have it in your collection right now, use it. It's so good. The next thing I have is a strawberry pound cake hand cream. I love the Bath and Body Works hand creams. Also, strawberry pound cake is just such a classic scent and definitely like a year-round scent. Oh, it's so good. Um, but I do cut open my products because I find that I get a lot of buildup like right near the spout and same goes for the body creams as well So if you're not cutting up your stuff, you definitely need to because I got maybe four or five more uses out of this Hand cream after I cut it up. So definitely recommend doing that with yours, but it was a really good product I go through about one hand cream a month or one every two or three weeks. So really love those and then I have the Mineral body polish plus hyaluronic acid. So this is like that water line that was out around SAS So I did pick this up. I think actually at winter SAS and then I finished it off in August So I really liked it. It was very coarse and I liked that I could see through the packaging so I could like see how much I had used um but I really loved the texture of this one. It was amazing. So I probably will be looking for this again at another SAS. And then I do have two hand soaps. So downstairs in our like shared bathroom with my family, we finished up Island Margarita. This is fresh squeezed lime and sea salt. I'm pretty sure I got this like on a super good deal. Like maybe it was $2 at SAS and really like it. We don't really care um, whether it's like a gentle gel or exfoliating or foam hand soap we just use it um, but we go through them pretty fast downstairs and then in my own bathroom I went through pineapple mango I love the packaging on this one it's so cute I also picked this up at SAS maybe for three dollars um, scent notes are fresh pineapple juice mango and vine ripened raspberry this was really good to like finish off summer mm, such a good like fresh and fruity scent so really really love that and then I do have a, a single pocket back that I finished off in Waikiki Beach Coconut. I actually got this for 50% off at SAS this summer. I was really surprised to find a uh, pocket back for 50% off, but I've been finishing off a lot of pocket backs recently, so that's been good. And then I do have like a random item, and it is just like a sensitive skin um, shave gel, so from Gillette. I do like to get the sensitive ones. I don't actually have sensitive skin, but I'd rather get the ones for that just in case, I don't know, but I liked it, it's fine. I did pick up an EOS one that I'm trying out and seeing if I like that one. Um, so I'll let you guys know um, how that one goes. But that's everything for the body care. I do have only two wax empties. I did not finish off a single candle this month. I'm actually really disappointed, but I kind of wasn't burning candles a lot because I did actually have a cold um, at the beginning of August for like two weeks and I just didn't want to have any fragrances going like candles or um, even wax or anything. So I really was not burning candles a lot in like the first half of August. So I really think that's why I didn't finish off a lot. Um, but I will be doing an update to my project wax, which is where I'm trying to use up all my candles and let you guys know what I'm focusing on finishing up because I need to get serious. <laughs> I need to finish off a lot of candles because I've been doing a lot of fall candle purchasing. So I need to get through some that I have left over from the summer. But so far I do have two actually wax empties from um, August. The first one is Sonoma Summer Berry Lemonade. I got this at Kohl's. It was, um, I believe it was on sale. Um, they usually have the Sonoma wax on sale, um, but this was a really good scent. 
It literally smells like strawberry lemonade. Oh, it's so good and it was really strong. I did this both at my house in our big warmer in our open concept living room and I also did it in my office at work and both of them performed amazingly. I think at work it even lasted like two days but at the house it just lasted one day but it was really strong so definitely recommend the Sonoma wax. I liked it a lot. And then this one is the Target Threshold brand in Cozy Cashmere. It says notes of vanilla and amber so this is what that looks like. I honestly just think it smells like clean laundry. It's a really nice refreshing scent. Mm. So good. My mom kind of hates this scent because it's a little strong and kind of headache inducing for her. So I did this primarily at work and honestly y'all it lasts so long. It lasted like maybe three days at work and I would have it going from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So this was a really really good um, wax. I will and already have repurchased another one of these and I have it sitting downstairs uh, ready to go to be put in my work bag to bring to work but really really love this scent I definitely recommend the threshold brand I will be um, looking into more of their stuff for fall because I know they have um, some fall melts so I will be doing a little bit of research next time I go to Target and seeing what they have but that's it for wax and then I do have some two um, little wallflower plug refills um, that we finished off last month. So I put the tags on it, um, but the tag is actually the one that's in the warmer currently. So downstairs in our bathroom, we have pineapple Prosecco going. It smells really good. It just smells like nice and fruity. Um, the one that we had in there previously, I think is Mary Mimosa. Yeah, Mary Mimosa was so strong. It was really good. And it had that kind of effervescent, like just a tad to where it was amazing. And then in the kitchen, we had rainbow, con we have currently rainbow confetti going. Um, and we just finished off, what is this one? Um, I think this one's Island Papaya. Yeah, so we just had this one going. Um, and now we have the rainbow confetti, which rainbow confetti is not performing very well for us. Um, the first couple of weeks, it smelled really good, kind of like cake. But now I can't smell it at all. So I don't know what happened to it, but that one's not really performing very well. But that's it for like home fragrance. And then I have a few skincare empties. So I did finish off this DHC um, Deep Cleansing Oil. I saw Jessica Braun use this on YouTube. I love her channel. She's so, she's so sweet and I just love watching her videos. They just bring me like a lot of contentment and like she's just like a very genuine person. But anyways, um, I saw that she was using this in her skincare routine and I figured like I do need to get a cleansing oil to use before I use face wash so you can do a double cleanse. Um, this basically just removes all the makeup from your face and you put it on as an oil onto uh, dry skin and you rub it in and you wash it off and it gets all your makeup off. So I really liked that. Um, I don't know if it had an impact maybe on some of my clogged pores on my face because I do have a very big problem with that. Um, so I did not repurchase it just because I'm a little weary of doing a cleansing oil right now. So I did repurchase um, a different like initial cleanser which is the cleansing balm from I can't remember the name but I'll put it down here uh, I purchased a cleansing balm instead of oil just in case that's having some effect on my skin and then I finished off two Tony Moly sheet masks I've been loving sheet masks recently the first one is the I'm honey sheet mask this one's supposed to be good for um, I think uh, removing bacteria I want to say um, so this one, I liked it. I honestly don't notice too much of a difference with sheet masks, but I do notice like my skin um, kind of, if it's red and irritated, like I had just popped some pimples, which I'm so bad, I need to stop doing that. Um, then I'll put on a sheet mask and my skin is a little bit less inflamed. Um, and then the second one is the I'm Aloe Moisturizing Mask. Also really like this one. I, I can't say I noticed like much of a difference between the two and like much of a difference using sheet masks, but they just feel nice and like I like feel like I'm pampering myself when I use them so that's been really good um, and then I do have one makeup empty this is the wet n wild photo focus concealer in medium peach I love this concealer honestly it is so good and I got this I think at the Dollar Tree or maybe at five below it's literally like two bucks um, but I use this like basically as foundation I would just spot conceal with it and be totally fine 
Um, I'm really happy that I finished off this medium peach color though because it's a very dark color and I'm never usually this tan, but I did get a good tan this summer so I finally finished it off and I've had it for a few years, um, just unable to use it because it was too dark for me. So glad that I finally finished it. Would definitely recommend if you're looking for a concealer like on a budget just to spot conceal with. It's not like super full coverage. It's probably like medium coverage I would say, but it's just, it's nice and cheap and I totally enjoyed it. And Wet n Wild's cruelty free, so that's a good thing too. Um, and then the last thing that I have is one hair care empty and this is the Joyco Moisture Recovery Conditioner. I love this stuff. It's absolutely amazing. I tried to purchase another one off of Ulta in the jumbo and it came to me like punctured so I had to return it and they were sold out of it at my store so I did not get, repur get to repurchase this but I will eventually. Um, but I got this actually at TJ Maxx for $7.99 so if you ever see this brand at TJ Maxx totally recommend Joyco. It's so good. Um, especially this moisture recovery line. If you have like a scalp problem, I definitely have like not necessarily dandruff and not necessarily like plaque psoriasis on my scalp, but like some sort of mixture in between to where I have like a product buildup and my scalp gets really itchy and dry. Um, so I highly recommend this if you have a dry scalp as well. Um, both me and my brother struggle with that. So this has helped immensely. It's so amazing. Highly recommend if you have that problem too. But that is everything for this month's empties. I'm a little disappointed that I did not finish any candles, but what can you do if you're sick? You know, you don't really want to be, be smelling those super strong smells. So, but that's everything for today's video. Let me know down below something that you are super excited that you finally finished up um, last month. I think I'm excited that I'm finally finishing up some wax clams because um, I've really only been using wax since maybe February of this year. So I'm finally like actually getting through some of the wax that I have, which is amazing to me. So that's something that I'm really proud of finishing off this month. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.